wake up So Hollywood putting on the makeup Can't save her, but it's always a food I to keep her caked up You ask the chick out, type to say Where you gonna take her, it's either to bake yeah, what it is, y'all? This your main man, Ching Lane. And right now, I want to shout out RealTalkNY.net. Yiddy. Actually, man, I think they were, it, it was, the album was being worked on. I think I came in it. I came, I came in a um, picture like, like around almost the middle of everything being worked on. And um, we was in the studio down in Miami. This was like, I want to say like two months ago. Probably. April. We was down in the studio in Miami, we just working in the studio and um, everybody was just making music, laying songs down and had a celebrity chick song came about, which is like gonna be the first single off the album. That was actually a song of mine. That was my song. And I thought Steph Jones, I wanted him to sing the hook. So and then I was now I wanted him to get on it. And then uh that's when they thought it should be one of the first single for the Spent the Numbers album, and then we got Small World on there, you know, because Steph and Small World, they were the new artists on the Stubborn and Peace, so it also gives them a chance to get some light and everything, you know what I'm saying? And it's setting me up for my project, which is called Hated or Love It, which I'm working on now, that's supposed to be thinking about that in you know, September, I mean, November. November this year? We're looking at it, okay. but I ain't sure, but you know, so I'm working on that, and. That's how the strength of numbers, I just kind of weaved, I kind of weaved in, mm. like, you know what I mean, and got on the first single, and, on, and I'm on some other tracks on there, but it's pretty hot. The album is hot, man. It's going to be definitely something to look forward to. Um, so, upcoming producers and artists on your solo project coming up? Upcoming out. producers and artists on my solo project, I got, um, I got my homeboy Wishmaster, he represents Basement Beats out of St. Louis. He's on the project, and Coco, which is a producer too, that's with Basement Beats, he's, they're on the project, and um, I got LT, the Ghost Riders, um, Harley Davidson out of St. Louis. Um, it's uh, it's some producers, man. I I, I'm not, I don't know their names right now, but I gotta find out. I got um, of course Steph Jones on the album, Small World. Um, Chris on the album, um, Rick Ross, um, Snoop Dogg. Um, as of right now, that's pretty much it. But the album, you know, that's called Hate It or Love It. It's, it's basically, man, it's more of a, this album is going to be more of a lyrical feel mm -hmm. and just more, just, more just, just reality subjects, mm -hmm. like dealing with like serious issues. And Anthony Hamilton going to be on the album. I got the song that's like about how people don't pay attention to what goes on in the ghettos and the hills with Anthony Hamilton. And that's going to be a pretty cool song. It's called They Don't Know. Mm -hmm. Um, I got this song actually where I dedicated it to my, my grandmothers, my mother, and my sisters. You know, just appreciating them as women, you know, and being in my life. And um, when I got this song called Hate of the Love, where I'm just basically expressing my feelings of um, when I got in this game and what went on and um, dealing with the situation that happened with me and just other people. So whatever. You don't want to touch on yeah. that? Or? I mean, I don't, I don't mind. You know. so Actually, um, it was just all that we sat down and talked to like, me, Shaka, Chris. Um, Billboard Awards week, weekend or week or whatever. Um, we just all met up and we sat down and talked and, you know, talked out the differences and everything. Which everything was really a misunderstanding. So. Misunderstanding. So that's, everything was really a misunderstanding. So it was like, it wasn't too hard to communicate and talk it out. It's just, it's just we, through that time that we didn't talk, that everybody didn't know how everybody felt. So mm -hmm. once we talked it out, got situated, and then next thing you know, man, I'm back, back on the block. So there's no bad blood or no no type. Nah, of I wouldn't be here if it was. Yeah, you know what I mean. It was all love, and that's how it was in the beginning, and that's how it's back like that now. So it's it's cool, man. I'm glad to be back. All right, about that. I think um, from what that man did, there's nothing that you blame. On hip hop, mm. just because he said he's a grown man, right. you know what I'm saying? That was because those words came out of his mouth. Don't don't pinpoint hip hop and the artists of hip hop for that. Mm. That man grown, he know he know his actions. Mm. Like you know what I mean? I guess I guess when they did that, when he did that, 
they're trying to say like the hip hop music or something encourage that. Yeah. Like you know what I'm saying? And that's not true. Mm -hmm. Like they always pinpoint wasn't the negative in hip hop, mm -hmm. but they never look at the, the positive. Right. You know what I mean? And I think that was just doing that when he did that. I think that was just a leeway for the people who wanted to attack him. Yeah, like, right. To do. Right. Like you know what I'm saying? So that was all messed up. You can't you can't you can't pinpoint hip hop for something this man said. Mm -hmm. Like that's just he, he he like me as an artist. When he said that, I'm not, um, I'm not like, uh, I told, I, like, I told him to say that, like, you know, what I'm saying it's just crazy, man. And they, and these people, they just try to shut him out down because it's getting so, it's big, like, you know what I mean? All right. You got it up. Um, Strength the Numbers album. So let this chick first sing. Look out for that. Um, shout out to all the artists on the studio piece. You know what I mean? And um, hated the love of my new album coming soon. So look out for that. And um, basically, man, right now it's about this, about this music. So that's really what it's about.